After Uganda Revenue Authority pitching camp in parliament for about a week, it became obvious that many members of parliament, some of whom are VIP taxpayers and others categorized as high net worth individuals, are not as literate in tax matters with many lacking tax identification numbers or have no clear idea about tax-related issues. From their position as people who determine and shape tax policies, this time round, Uganda Revenue Authority targeted them in their capacity as taxpayers first. So, Uganda, we are still doing badly. Compliance is one of the issues where we must help URA to achieve these targets which we give them. They might be very, very ambitious, but they are necessary. We have to be ambitious as a country. We are ambitious as voters because we need roads, we need hospitals, we need schools. So we must be ambitious as tax collectors. And the only way they can achieve that ambition of theirs is getting support from parents. Don't hide information about tax. Be open. Don't be open. Because I'm telling you, if, first of all, if we discover you, the law is very, very harsh. And I don't want to hear a businessman or business committee or an individual that you've been taken to court, they are auctioning you because you are failed to pay your tax. And as VIPs, it is not enough for them to contribute to the tax kitty through their salaries, but also ensure that their businesses are tax compliant. If you go to a bank and you're an MP, at least you can borrow 100 million, you can borrow 50 million, you start a small business. You don't need to contribute to the national coffers by paying 100 million tax every year. Even 100,000, even 200,000 is very, very important. So if we are paying uh, per month, around 200,000 or 500,000 as an MP, okay, from your businesses per month. By the end of the year, we shall be paying in billions. Those billions will be able to do service in some of these areas that we consider to be very, very critical. Just like any other person, any member of parliament, when they come here, they may not know, but when you give them tax advisory services and they understand what they, what they need to do, you realize that they are willing to do it. So it's within our mandate and within our limitations to make sure that we extend this tax education to them. Ismail Musa, Ladu, NTV Business.